I remember the night that I found out that my brother had died by suicide. It was November 12th, 2010, and it was just past midnight. I had some friends over and I was wondering why anybody would be so late to my party when the knock at the door revealed my father. And he wouldn't even look at me. He kept looking at the ground and he kept saying, come here, come here. And he pulled me into this beautiful hug and he said to me, your brother has died by suicide. And I don't remember what happened next. People later had to tell me that I was screaming and I had blacked out because my body had rejected this information. And I was screaming so loud that the other apartment units came out to see if I was okay. And my father was scooping me up to take me back to the family home where we would all gather to mourn and grieve this news. And I have to tell you, I don't really remember much from that first year of bereavement. I wrote things down in my diary because I could feel that sense of non-time, of the black void and the depression and the grief, which was like a weight on my chest. It kept me underwater and I didn't really remember what I had done last week or the day before. And through that grief, I found ways to metabolize it. I was running. I took up running because I had heard that my brother, who was having difficulty with his mental health, had taken up running. So I decided to run with my brother. And that helped the weight off of my chest to become a completely physical experience and I huffed and I puffed and I hated every minute of it, but it felt good to feel in my body. And I also did a terrible thing that my brother was a smoker and the thing that was given to me was his cigarette case. So I would go for a smoke with my brother on the balcony and I would have conversations with my dead brother of all the things left unsaid. And the last thing that we did together was hang out, have some ramen like Mr. Noodles and uh, have a smoke on my balcony. And that is the memory that I like to cherish and come back to whenever I am missing him or whenever I'm feeling lost in my grief.